Hey Superstars, it is time for 118 Degrees of Separation, a game that dares to ask, whatever happened to Fay Ray? If you're new to 118, this is how it works. You tell me who to draw next week. That person has to have a connection to who I'm drawing this week. And if I pick your suggestion, I will send you that drawing. Last time we drew Christopher Lloyd as Doc Brown. And before that we drew Dr. Frankenstein. And now this week's lucky winner is Blair Hathaway, who suggested that I draw Tim Curry, who is most famous for playing another doctor. Dr. Frankenfurter from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Tim Curry was in Clue with Christopher Lloyd. Uh, I guess Professor Plum could have been a PhD too, but I'm not really sure. Um, I am rambling already. Is there a doctor in the house? Come, we are ready for the floor show. Before I go on though, I need to apologize as I didn't put out an 118 episode last week. Let's see, I need an excuse real quick. Hold on one sec. Okay, you see, I was kidnapped by these weird floating coconut monsters who flew me out to their secret island lair. I wish I could tell you where it was, but I was blindfolded the whole time. When we got there, they took me to their leader, as it were, who happened to be the unfrozen head of Walt Disney on a robot body. Walt had ordered his floating coconut monster minions to go find him some beard hair because he wanted to make a disguise so that he could sneak his way onto the set of The Mandalorian. He really loves that show. Um, flying coconut monsters are pretty dumb though, and instead of just getting beard hair, they brought back a whole me. Long story short, I had lunch with robot Walt Disney. He's really, really nice and makes a killer goulash. And then he gave me a weird little blue pill and I woke up and it was Saturday. What were we doing? Oh yeah, Tim Curry. I'm sorry. Madness takes its toll. I don't want anyone thinking I'm making a big political statement by drawing the gender-bending Dr. Frankenfurter. I don't want to get into the great pronoun debate. We are just here to have some fun today, like when I was a teenager and would visit the local college cinema every weekend for the midnight showing of Rocky Horror Picture Show with my buddies. We went week after week after week for a couple of years, and Tim Curry was up there on the big screen belting out ridiculous songs, and we'd be in the audience yelling ridiculous nonsense right back at him. Nonsense that's not entirely appropriate for my family-friendly YouTube videos for sure. I'm not so worried about the kids, you know, but my mother-in-law watches these. Anyway, one Saturday night, like any other, we went to see Frank and Janet and Brad and the rest and some stupid jerky McJerk face sprayed pepper spray in the crowded theater and then we couldn't see the blue skies through the tears in our eyes and we realized we all had to go home. Sad to say the theater stopped showing it after that and that was the end of Rocky Horror for us. Oh yeah, and Tim Curry was pretty good in some other movies too, like the aforementioned Clue, Muppet Treasure Island, and um, Home Alone 2. If you unconventional conventionalists would like to play along, leave a comment with who you'd like to see me draw next week. You have to be able to connect that person to Timothy James Curry. As always, please check the pinned comment to make sure you're suggesting someone new. Deadline for suggestions is Tuesday. Details and rules are in the description below. And there he is, pretty groovy. Thank you for the great suggestion, Blair. This one brought up some fun memories. I'll need your address so I can send this to you. Thank you guys for watching and keep those awesome suggestions coming. Good luck, everybody. Goodbye, all of this. And hello, Oblivion.